Welcome to our YouTube channel where we give farmers and intended farmers information that are beneficial to start and run their livestock farming profitably. But of course, if you've not subscribe to our youtube channel i think this is the best time to do that today i'm just going to be talking about three simple or basic step for an intending farmer to know what an intending farmer needs to know to start a successful poultry or livestock farm number one is for you to have a perfect idea of what it will cost you to start this project why is this necessary because you don't want to start something you cannot finish so it's important that you have like a full idea or a full grasp of what it will cost you financially to be able to start from stage one to the final stage where it goes out into the market uh, if you're in Nigeria, the average cost of raising a broiler bird is around a thousand one to a thousand five hundred. That's around three to four uh, dollars if you're converting the currency using the predominant currency rate. So to buy your day o chicks, uh, to feed them for between six to twelve weeks, depending on the model you're adopting, to ensure that you give them the necessary medications, the vaccinations, and then of course have a few money here and there to cover the exigencies that may occur during the rearing process you need to have this budget on ground this is important because it helps you adequately prepare or be armed to to do whatever you need to do to ensure the success of uh, your broiler farm now uh, if you're going to be keeping a hundred birds you know by now with the estimate i gave initially that it's going to cost you around four hundred dollars if you're going to be keeping a thousand birds uh, using an average cost of four dollar per bird you know it's going to be costing you around four thousand dollars if you're going to be keeping ten thousand you know it's going to be costing you around forty thousand uh, forty thousand uh, dollars to start and finish what you don't want to do as an intending farmer is to start a 1,000 broiler farm or 1,000 broiler project and you only have the budget for a hundred that is a recipe for disaster so you need to have like a bad eye view of the entire cost from start to finish the second simple tips I want you to hold handy when starting or when trying to set up your broiler farm is to understand the power of the right location understand that these broiler birds are also livestock so you need to have an environment where there's constant water supply where there's security and then of course an environment where the birds will feel safe to 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 grow and then mature into something very profitable what do you need to consider in citing your broiler farm I think the first basic thing is access. There are locations in Nigeria that are not accessible. You don't want a farm that nobody can get to because all your input will be supplied by somebody. So you want to pick a location where you have easy access. You want to pick a location where the water quality is good. And although there are a few things here and there you need to do to be able to improve the water quality, but you want to get it right at first. Then lastly, in terms of location, you want to get a location where you know that human beings or the people around that community uh, will not be a nuisance to the birds or the farm will be a nuisance to the person, vice versa, as you may put it. So you have to choose a location where it's easily accessible, where there are inputs, water quality is good, and of course, where human, uh, human interference will be largely minimized. The third and then, of course, the most important point when you are starting your broiler farm is to understand that you need a very good source of input in starting a farm your source of input is as important as your budget because again you could have the required necessary cost to start and finish your broiler farm but if you get a source of input let's say a source, your source of where day old chicks is bad then you know that it will be difficult to make anything good out of that farm 
you have to have the contact of professionals or people who have been into this business for a while. It's my 14th year now as a veterinary doctor, but more than two decades interacting with farmers. And I know the importance of having your source correctly. Uh, you need to get your source correctly, source of your day old chicks, even source of your nutrition. You could get your quality day old chicks perfectly, but if your nutrition is poor, the beds will still not grow. You need to get your source of medication and then, of course, the source of vaccines. Vaccines are a major source of concern in our industry in West Africa because of the quality of storage. You need to know where to get your source of birds, your source of medication, your source of vaccination before you start. If you want to get more information on Farmalat, our services and how we help farmers, you can easily send an email to help at farmalat.com.ng. We're here to help farmers, we're here to help you grow, we're here to give you the necessary information you need to succeed as a broiler farm. And then lastly, before I leave the stage, is that you need to stay in constant touch with us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done so and then let's keep the community growing and growing stronger thank you and happy start <laughs>